What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Leezy the Gifted. A little bit of background on what I do on this podcast. I do a brand new audio episode every single day, new video episode about three, four times a week, Monday through Thursdays. And it's basically just documenting my journey as an independent musician, rapper, producer, entrepreneur, digital person, blah, 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 all that stuff, right? So sometimes you're gonna get tips and tricks. Um, and all that good stuff. Sometimes you're just gonna get me documenting and talking about life. So this episode is gonna be a mindset shift for a lot of people and it, it, it's something that I'm guaranteeing you've heard before but I'm gonna repeat it to you because I wanna frame it my own way. As musicians, okay, we gotta think of ourselves literally as businesses. Now, I know we've heard that before I know, you, you know you're trying to start thinking of yourself as a business, I know that, and it's challenging because we're coming here creatives. We're, we're creative people, we play our instruments, we do our vocals, we mix and mount, whatever it is, and we think our brain isn't geared toward business, right? And I actually put out an episode a while ago about how to use your creativity toward your business, but I also just wanna relate to you the importance and what it really means to run a business, okay? I'll be honest, like I'm not like running the business that I want to be running. Like I want to run a more profitable business, right? But but you got to think of, okay, what would a business do, right? You got to make a busyness decision, okay? So like I'll give you a great example of how I think about music and how my music directly is impacted by my business mind. Okay, and, and, and you can take it or leave it however you want, but I'm just gonna explain it from my end, okay? When I make music, like I love making music, okay? I'm obsessed with making music, I'm addicted to making music, that is my thing, it's my passion, okay? But sometimes I'll be in the studio, I'll make a song and I'm like feeling it, like I feel great, like this was awesome, like oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, right? And I'll send it to a bunch of people. If a bunch of people start giving me feedback saying, you know, not really your best, this, that, and the third, I think it could be better, I'm literally gonna change my opinion of the song because I'm personally a business person. I'm like thinking, well, if a lot of people aren't feeling the song, then maybe I don't put it out, maybe I fix it, right? Chances are I'm gonna fix it. But I make a lot of, when I'm in the studio, I'm not a business person, right? When I'm in the studio, I'm, my heart, my soul, my emotions. Once I'm done, switch to the business brain. And it's gotta be that. And it's gotta start, you gotta start thinking the marketing, the business, all that stuff. And and good marketing is 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 integrating the the emotions and the soul and the and, and all that into the marketing, right? So it's not two separate things, but you also gotta make certain objective business decisions, not just with music, but just with life in general. So you all, you gotta conduct your life like it's a business, like it's a profitable business. You gotta think of your body as a business, right? It's not obviously a business. It's it's you know the profit of your body is just being healthy. Like if you're running healthy and you're getting enough sleep and you feel good physically, your body is profitable, right? You're helping. Your body is helping you get further along. If you're not sleeping well, if you're not eating right, if your body feels bad, if you're getting stomach aches, if you're not moving, if you're out of energy, your body's not profitable. Does that make sense? So with the, with 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 your actual bit, like with your business of music, you will not continue to do music the way you want if you're not making a living from it. Now, I'll step back and say, if you are simply doing music just out of the love of the music and you don't care about making money, Perfect, perfect. I'm probably, I might not be the guy for you, maybe I am, but I'm really, that's not really who I'm talking to. I'm talking to people, and I'm sure you're this person, who is trying to make a living with their with, with their music. You know, that's what I'm trying to do, and I'm trying to help people do that too. So, okay, what would a business do? You know, it's, it's crazy, like when I was linked up with, uh, with Gabe from Legion Beats, he's really a business person, you know? He's really doing a lot more business than he does actually music making. You know, he's conducting a business. And it's just interesting to see the systems that he's put in place and the marketing that he does and 
the way he's organized. And I was like, man, this is next level, the, the level he's at, right? And he's an entrepreneur. So you got to, that's why I've always learned from entrepreneurs. I, I get a lot more success or not more, yeah, more success, but I meant more inspiration from entrepreneurs. Like, like I would say Kevin Gates and Drake are my two favorite artists. They've impacted me a lot. But I kind of have to say that like Andy Frisella, he's impacted me way more. He's the guy who has the podcast Real AF. So I've always looked at business people. Like I love business people. I love successful entrepreneurs. And I guess the point that I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to sound like I'm beating around the bush. I'm just trying to convey to you that when you're a musician, think about every single thing you do as a bit. It's part of the business of it. And that's what sucks sometimes about the business of music. Is like you don't want to think of that when you're making music, and you shouldn't. That's that's when you're thinking about making songs. Just make whatever you want, but make as much of it as you want, so that you can have those songs where you're like, "Oh yeah, these are the songs that I made for me." But then you have other songs where you're like, "I made this song for me also," but other people are really gonna like it too. You have to have those, and because think about it like this, like, like the way me, like the way I think about it. With like Corey, my one of one of the producers I work with, CW Midnight. What if I put out a song or an album that I can buy a house from? Like I make so much money off that album, I buy a house and a car. And I pay my bills off music. How does that sound to you? Think about that. Not 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 a crummy house, a nice house. Not 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 just any car. A nice car. Like, I don't know, a McLaren. That's really nice. Let's even even just a Mercedes. How sick would that be? Tesla. That'd be a cool car. You know what I mean? Imagine that. Because of music. And all you have to do every single day is wake up and make music. And that's your literal job. Could you imagine that? That's what we all want, right? That's all what we want. We want to make music. If all you want to do with your life is make music, you better be making some money with your music. So what would a business person do? You can't just go in the studio every single time and just be like, I'm only, I'm not trying to make something hot right now. I'm just trying to do me. It's like, dude, you got to eventually think like, yeah, I'm trying to make something that's, <laughs> that might get myself out there. You know, you got to, you got to start thinking about money the right way. You can't say you hate money and be a business person. Business people love money. We love money. We understand that money is great and money is power. So you can't, you got to switch your mindset about money if you have the wrong mindset. I don't think you do. If you're listening to me and you're into what I do, chances are you're pretty into money. But I don't know, some people might not be. And like, you got to have the right mindset about money. You can't just think, oh, like money is evil. Money ruins things. Like don't let money get in between us. Like what? I would rather pay my friends to do a job than pay somebody I don't know if my friend can do if my friend can do the job and I love and care about them and they they do something that I literally need I would happily pay them why wouldn't I want to pay them oh they're your boys you shouldn't need to pay your boys why they need the money too I mean where else I'd rather be putting the money back to them than somebody I don't know right so you got to think about money that way too and I've always conducted myself that way. Like when it comes to showing up to a session, right? Like like when I was just an artist and I would have to go to someone's house or uh, I would go to a studio. I would show up early or on, I, yeah, I would show up early. I wouldn't show up on time. Sometimes I'd show up on time. I'd show up early. I'd be there right when, I'd be like, no, let's go. Let's get it. And I'm not asking for discounts. Why would you ask for discounts, bro? Asking for discounts is not something good business. I mean, I personally don't think it is. I don't know. Maybe there are good business people out there who want to cut a deal, but I'm not going to ask for a discount. I'm not going to ask for a friends and family discount. I don't do that. The point of what I'm saying is like everything you do should be, I'm conducting myself like a business. I'm a CEO. You know what I mean? I'm a CEO of me. I'm the CEO of me and my brand and what I do. Now, if you don't want to be a business person and you're not into that stuff, that's fine, but you're going to have to get signed to a label. You can't sit here and be like, I want to be independent, but then also be like, I'm not into the business stuff. Well, if you want to be independent, that's what it takes because 
a label, a, a record label is literally a machine. It's a ginormous, it's a conglomerate, it's a corporation. It's built with a, with a lot of people that do a lot of different jobs. So if you want to be independent, you need to be the one who pulls in all these different team members that can do all these things and you build that conglomerate. You can't sit here and say, I'm not into the business stuff, but I also want to be an independent artist. That doesn't make sense. Chances are, again, people watching this, you already have the right mindset. You're probably the type of person who knows that they need to get into business. So get into business, get into finance, get into marketing. You need to know, you need to be at least well versed in everything. You don't have to be a complete master in an expert in literally every part of business. You just need to understand what's out there. Like for me, I'm really not an expert at email marketing. I'm not an expert at copywriting. I'm not an expert at advertising. I'm not an expert at marketing. I'm not an expert at funnel building. I know what all of those things are though and I've done all of those different things. I do all of those different things. But eventually I'm trying to hire out, man. I'm trying to be like, yo, where's my camera person? Where's my photographer? Where's my PR person? Where's my manager? Where's my media buyer to do the Facebook ads? Where's my funnel builder? Where's my copyright? I'm not trying to do everything for the rest of my career. I'm just doing them all right now because I don't have anybody else to do it. Plus, it's expensive to hire all those different team members and you got to work lean when you don't have, you know, you got to work lean when you don't have the means. You know, you got to do what you got to do when, you, when, when you're in a certain position. But at least know, like I just mentioned a ton of different business things you might not know about. Like you might be like, what's funnel building? What's copywriting? And I don't mean copy R-I-G-H. I mean W-R-I-T, like writing words. Um, uh, there's a book I had. It's in my room. Copywriting Secrets by Jim Edwards learning about how to use words to sell. Sales. How about that? Do you do sales? Do you know what sales is? You should like sales because sales are what makes a company happen. So um, I just want to get you exposed to more of this kind of stuff. And if there's more specific things about business that you want to know more about, comment below and ask like, yo, what was that one thing you said about like copywriting or what was, what's funnel building? Like what's a funnel? I'll explain it. I would love to explain it. You know, in fact, I'll probably do an episode of me explaining it. In fact, I'll do that episode tomorrow. That's what I'll do. I'll write an episode about copywriting. It's perfect. I'll write it on my whiteboard. So, you know, if you want to get more of an understanding of business so that you can actually use all those tools to make your music career happen the right way, like if you want to start building an email list so that you can actually monetize your audience, because you can't just always monetize your audience on social media, somebody else controls that. So if you want to build an email list, you should come talk to me and book a 15 minute call with me below. And I would also super appreciate if you subscribe to the YouTube, YouTube, why did I say it like that? If you subscribe to the YouTube and hit the bell notification, if you're listening to the audio version of this right now, then all you gotta do is leave a rating, leave a review, subscribe to the pod, and share it with a friend, all right? Thank you so much for tuning in on YouTube and for listening on the podcast, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Peace!